when it comes to the M50, you can only use 4K with a 1.7 crop, which makes it unusable at closer angles. But does the Rokinon 8mm fisheye lens help to fix that problem? Let's find out together. Just joining me for the first time, my name is Sebastian Smith. I am an actor, improviser, and video producer based here in Kansas City, Missouri. And on nerdyknickknacks.com, what I like to do is I like to take a look and review some of the best nerdy gear around, including camera equipment, audio equipment, and today I'm taking a look at the Rokinon 8mm f2.8 fish eye lens. So the first thing you're going to notice about this lens is its solid build quality. Now when we compare it to the kit lens that came with the M50, this is a, a, a plastic body. Um, it's a quality lens, it gets really sharp, uh, but it, again it is a plastic body. Uh, it does feel uh, a little more fragile, uh, uh, toy-like, a little more like it would be prone to breaking um, than the Rokinon does. The Rokinon lens still has a plastic body, but because of the weight in it, it feels a lot more sturdier, like you're not going to break it. Uh, and in my opinion, the Rokinon lens adds a little extra weight to the M50. If you've ever handled an M50, you'll know how light it is. With that additional weight, I feel like I get a few more stable shots because I really have to lock down my arm uh, in order to hold it still. You know, in fact, I uh, I, I kind of liken the build quality of the Rokinon to these uh, classic FD lenses, uh, the classic Canon FD lens. Uh, they, of course, are an all metal body with some plastic parts put in. Uh, and with the Rokinon being an eight millimeter manual focus lens, uh, which that's, I guess that's one of the downsides and we'll get to that here in a minute. It, it really does remind me of these old, uh, of these older vintage lenses and has, like I said, a very similar build quality. Now, so build quality is one thing. What about image quality? Well, you tell me. Right now, you're watching me film this with my M50 and the eight millimeter fish eye lens. You know, I personally think this is a really great quality lens. Um, one of the main advantages is being able to sit closer to my camera. See, I can, I can reach out and I can touch it. It's only about an arm's length away right now, which is one reason I think that this is a perfect vlogger's camera. I've done some videos on my other channel and I'll, I'll link them in the eye icon above, um, where I did some vlogs with this lens and I was able to get the camera a lot closer to myself. And instead of trying to hold it all the way out uh, at arm's reach, I was able to put it on a small uh, handheld tripod and hold it out right about here and I was able to get my whole face and everything in the background. It really does work really well for those vlogging style shots. And you're probably thinking, wow, Sebastian, this sounds like a great lens. You know, what are, what are the downsides? You know, one of the biggest strengths and weaknesses of this lens is that it's a fisheye. If you're not really familiar with cameras and lenses and types of lenses, uh, what a fisheye is, is um, I'm sure you've seen like a GoPro, um, or like some kind of other action camera where the edges around the image are distorted and bowed out and it kind of looks like you're looking into a ball or like you're looking out of a ball. Um, that distortion is caused by fisheye and it's a very stylistic look and some people really like it uh, and some people don't like for these talking head type videos. So what I do in post is I take it into Adobe Premiere and then I take out about 20% of the curve and it flattens the image out and makes it look more like a traditional uh, square. But you can see if I take it out and you look around the edges, you're gonna start seeing it bow, right? It's bowing out over here. You can see that it's bowing out. Um, but that's with the 1.7 crop from using 4K. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now and jump over to what it looks like in 1080, right? you can see that's a huge uh, difference. Right now you can see my microphone, you can see my window, which I have this uh, packing pad over because they're doing construction out there, so I'm really sorry if you hear that. You can see my green screen, you can see, uh, you can see a large portion of my room. Like I can hold my hands out and you can't, I can't even reach my arms 
wide enough and this lens and it's still just uh, arm's length away so yeah this lens is really great if you're trying to work in small places or say you are trying to get an entire room um, in an image you can just go to that 1080 and get more of the room uh, like I said you're gonna get that really stylistic look if you go look back at say um, logic in his way back video, take it back, take it way, way back, take it way, way back to the first black man. Anyway, um, if you go and watch that, that whole video is shot on a, uh, a fisheye, and you can tell when he gets to the size of the images, he gets warped and distorted. So we can go take a look at that. Um, but like I said, usually I just tack on a 20% curve, or a negative 20% curve onto the image, and it flattens it out and makes it a fairly decent interview uh, lens, and I've used it a ton of times for uh, interviews. You know, what's really great is because I'm shooting in 4K, um, I have a lot of wiggle room with this image to be able to uh, crop the edges, push in, um, you know, over here. Like, I, I won't move the camera, but you can see now you're still getting a decent image of my Blue Yeti over here on my uh, desk, even though, uh, you know, it's, it's just a tiny little piece. Look, I can... I can crush it I can crush it with my fingers so there's a lot of great applications for this lens and I really use it it's it's become one of my daily uh, workhorses um, I'll link up some other videos where I've used this lens especially when I do interviews and things like that good lenses tend to be kind of expensive like take Canon L glass for instance most Canon L glass is $1,000 plus right now what Rokinon does is they make these really good quality lenses, but they do it at kind of a budget price. So this lens comes in right around $400 on Amazon. I'll put a link down below so you can go take a look. I think overall the best part about this lens is it makes the 4K on the Canon M50 more usable, especially in those scenarios where you're trying to film yourself or you need to be closer to your subject. The Rokinon 8mm fisheye lens is definitely a very stylized lens. You're going to get a very stylized image, uh, but you're going to get great image quality. You're going to get versatility as far as how near and how far you can shoot, um, and you're going to get a great lens for your money. If you do end up getting value from this video, make sure you smash that like button for me. Also, 